happy Friday. I'm currently sitting at my desk. I went for a run this morning. I've been running 5K consistently. My pace was around 5.16. And I'm just at my desk doing work. I was doing some engagement on socials. I am a social media manager at a social media agency. I'm about to make breakfast. I think I'm gonna do an oat. I don't know. I kind I want oats, but I keep having oats. I should probably have like Greek yogurt or something. Switch it up. I think we're gonna do some Greek yogurt. Let's go make that. I've been in a candle mode. Definitely fall in here. I picked up some multi-green sourdough bread from Farm Boy this morning. I'm gonna have that for lunch with some eggs and avocado toast. We made our second coffee of the day and I just did the silk vanilla unsweetened vanilla almond milk and the silk hazelnut almond milk creamer. I didn't put this on like the setting I normally do, like the frother. I normally put it on this setting, but I put it on this one because I've just been finding it's like too much froth. Actually, she's perfect. I'm just ex used to like extreme amounts of froth. I'm a happy camper. I had a team meeting. I've been doing work all day. I'm gonna work for another hour, like till four, and then I have lecture at four, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'll go on a nice little walk. I'm debating having a snack. I don't know what I want for lunch. I had two pieces of this sourdough bread that I picked up from Farm Boy. It's just like the multi-grain sourdough bread. Pretty good. Just wanted like fresh bakery bread. I had that with one slice with cream cheese and one with vegan butter because my avo wasn't ripe enough she's like borderline she's almost there maybe tomorrow maybe sunday so i did that with two eggs like it was supposed to be an omelet kind of ended up being like partially scrambled eggs um with spinach i had like frozen spinach so i did that oh and i added a little bit of feta in it and it was pretty good but we're just working away it is so gloomy outside i just i want sun can the sun come out? Also, Shelby, my coworker, thought I already dyed my hair. She thought I went darker. I don't know why my hair looks so dark today, but it's okay, because tomorrow we're dyeing it. I'm going to Nicole Park Hill, but I don't know what I want to snack on. Maybe an apple? Like what else could I have? I had yogurt for breakfast. You can do straight up berries. Don't really feel like that. We could do a midday square. Mm. Might do an apple. Me mm -hmm. my fridge. So many silk products. It's Friday. As I'm in such a weird mood. If you have any coffee table book recommendations or candle recommendations or recommendations to help make this look pretty, please let me know because she's not that cute. And I want her to look cute. I want an aesthetic home. So let me know.
it's 8 10 a.m. and I'm about to leave to go get my hair done at my appointments at 9. This is the fit. It took me forever to decide on it. It's just these Zara jeans, these cruise socks from TNA. I'm gonna wear my Air Force ones. This little blazer thing from like an old hands costume from H&M. This shirt is Princess Polly. Bag is Be Well. And let's go get our hair tied. So we have our handy dandy umbrella and I think I might go to Schmaltz appetizing or whatever to go and get a bagel. Cheers. A few updates. I got home. I'm in sweats. My hair like got so frizzy and I just freestyled it at home. I wish it kept. I should have Ubered, whatever. But instead of spending money on Uber, I went to Schmaltz appetizing and got a beautiful bagel that we're gonna photograph obviously and i'm so freaking excited to eat it because i haven't eaten yet today and it's like 2 30 so that's not good i lit some candles i fixed my hair i'm obsessed with the color in the apartment i was like oh this isn't that as light as i wanted it like it was super blonde and then she toned it but it's actually perfect okay last night i started watching the justin bieber documentary on um prime video and i want to finish it so i should probably have gotten a plate but okay we're gonna get a taste test i got an everything bagel i got a, a marvin a mavin so it's lux cream cheese capers onion and i added cucumber Mmm, really good. We're getting a plate. <laughs> Too messy. That was fucking incredible. Highly recommend if you're in Toronto. Okay, I'll talk to you after. Good morning, happy Sunday. I just put my sheets on. I just woke up. I'm going to meet Michal to go walk at High Park shortly. Um, we're meeting there for like 10, it's 8.35. I think I'm just gonna clean the apartment a little bit, like weekly cleaning. Maybe grab groceries if I have time. Just like a few things that I need, like almond milk. I have no almond milk. Maybe lettuce. I don't know. We'll decide. Most likely just like almond milk for now. I'm in an avocado for later in the week, but that's what's up. This is the apartment. I've been like on a kick of like decorating the apartment. I just want it to look cute like this thing. These pumpkins over here. Like I want the apartment to look cute. We moved the pumpkins there. I ordered a coffee table book. I'm gonna get like a little tray, um, a wick cutter, and then put a candle on here. I love that our desks are out here, but I feel like it ruins the vibes, but it can't be perfect. It's not a magazine, it's an apartment that we live in. Gotta keep telling myself, but this is our couch. It's from Ikea. Yeah, this is the apartment.
spent the day out and about but also was super productive and like washed all my bed linen washed all my towels washed my clothes that are just in the dryer and then some things are drying but i think my favorite part about cleaning like the apartment is like once the bed is remade and like it's so fresh and i can't wait to get into it and that's bothering me there i like dusted everything and he put my purse away but everything's super super clean feels good i haven't worn sweats in so long i really like these ones they're from revolve they're lpa i really wanted the blue ones when i was ordering these but they were sold out so i got the pink ones and i'm gonna go take my iron pill take my makeup off and get into bed i'm super super happy with my hair i love it it's like the perfect lightness yeah i'm going to brunch tomorrow with my parents super excited for that i'm excited to see them i'm excited to go to the place we're going i haven't been there in years it's called old school let's look at the menu together also there's like two massive spiders like outside my windows and like it's a lot they have french toast which i might do or they have Bened eggs benedict i might do like the avocado one. Ooh, that sounds really good because my mom will probably get like french toast i can steal a bite i also have pancakes i think i might just do the eggs benedict we'll see i look a little rough right now my hair has been so frizzy because of all the humidity but i really like this color and i'm happy that i went lighter and I'm getting so pale, I need to figure out a self tan routine. If you have any self tanners you recommend, let me know. I'm kind of over like Isles of Paradise. I feel like it always gets kind of blotchy on me. Maybe I'm just bad at putting it on, but I wanna try like Tan Lux or something. So let me know what your favorite self tanner is in the comments below, preferably like Clean Beauty. But I'm going to get into bed, read before bed, and I will chat to you guys in the morning. Good morning, happy Monday. It's Thanksgiving Monday. I'm making coffee i'm probably gonna have one in like an hour um i just feel like when i cleaned some of the apartment i got showered i made my bed i need to go to my makeup and fix my hair this is the little outfit i'm wearing to go for brunch with my parents it's a beautiful day out it's sunny it's supposed to feel like 27 today also we're living on the edge over here as i show it stops but She's beautiful. Look at that latte. Look at her. Let's add a little cinnamon. I've been really trying to keep the apartment super clean and I'm in like this decorating the apartment kick. Like it's just like so much fun and I'm trying not to buy everything at once because that's just like unnecessary but right now i have some prints on the way for my room i'm ordering more for like the main area to do like a sort of gallery wall situation i got like a little black wire fruit bowl to put here i got a coffee table book for the coffee table i want to get like a little like tray thing and put a candle and matches and a wick cutter i also want to get like really cool like candle stick holders and candlesticks it's like that will be fun like i want to do pops of color like i kind of have like pops of pink going on because of the glasses over there on my bar cart like they're pink and then i also have like wrote a lot of rosé on there i think pops of color could be fun like the coffee table book that i got is like cream with like pink writing it's just like i feel like it's finally coming along and i'm really happy with it rearranging the kitchen last i'm so much happier with it like it feels so much better and like the next thing i want to invest in for the kitchen 
is I've got a garbage can. Like right now, garbage cans are uncovered. So I'd like to invest in one with a lid, but those are freaking expensive. So we'll see what happens with that. And I want to get a nice like soap holder thing because right now I'm keeping like the dish soap under here. Maybe I'll get like a garbage that goes over the door, but I don't want to see it like on this side. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Little apartment update. This is what the bar cart looks like. I changed it a bit. Desk situation. Island. Patio. We have the little bistro set. This will have like the coffee table book, a little tray, candle situation. And then I want to get like a cool ca like candlestick holders. And that could be fun and then we could put like a bowl and like books there or something like little knickknacky things that's the apartment okay now i'm gonna go get ready i keep having cramps like sorry if that's tmi we don't care if it's tmi if having cramps um i don't get my period with my id but sometimes i'll get like period symptoms so that's what we're going through right now oh and then i also need to take my laundry out of the laundry that makes no sense I need to take my laundry out of the dryer. This is the full fit. These are Princess Polly, Princess Polly, and then I'm gonna wear my black sneakers, except like the crotch like goes funny on these jeans, but I really like them otherwise. So this is the fit. I'm gonna put on my Converse and I'm leaving you at home because I don't feel like carrying my camera or maybe I will bring you. I'll bring you with, I'll bring you with for the ride. I feel like this mirror has been like the entire vlog. I'm beyond obsessed with my apartment right now. Like, slash, like cleaning it and starting to decorate it a bit more. Like, I am getting really obsessed and I've sold a bunch of clothes that I haven't been wearing. I got like a few doubles of some things um, from like a shipping mishap. So, I sold some of those for like really discounted prices. If you want to stay in touch and up to date with anything I may be selling, you can follow Lanny Bloomberg on Instagram. Um, that's where I'll be posting things that I'm selling. It's just easier than like Depop and whatnot. But I'm really obsessed with my apartment. I feel like I finally got like my stylistic decorating vibe. I put my laundry away. I watch some squid game. Is that what it's called? Squid game. Um, and now I'm going to go on a little walk. And then I think I might go to the gym later. But not entirely sure. But I'm going to go on a walk. I need some fresh air. I've been inside all day. I need, I need to get out. So I'm just wearing these sweats that I was wearing last night. The shirt that I was wearing earlier. And it's still kind of warm out. So I'm just going to go like this. And put some sneakers on. And put my AirPods in and go on a nice walk. I'm very much in love with my apartment and my space. So let's go on a hot girl walk. Brunch was delicious with my parents and happy Canadian Thanksgiving. So I got back from my walk a little bit ago. I got this maple barbecue salmon again from Farm Boy. Literally preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and then put it in for five minutes and it's cooked. It's so easy. I'm going to make the Emily Macchio whatever salmon. Cause I have some rice from when I made it last time. So we're gonna take an ice cube. I'm just gonna warm up the rice in the microwave. I don't have parchment paper. It's so easy, so simple. I'm gonna do it with like salad and rice. And I'm super excited. I'm actually hungry. And someone's coming to pick up one of my pieces. Oh, she's two minutes away, so I'm gonna head down. But I'm giving her one of my pieces. Finney with this. <laughs> 